Hi, this is Ann Leadham with Ann Leadham PR. Have you ever wondered what the difference is between getting exposure and building a solid platform online? Well, I'm going to tell you today about why you need to consider building that platform. There are five key strategies and key benefits that happen when you build a really strong platform and actually have a way for people to connect with you in a way that they just can't do when you go on the Today Show. The first thing that building a solid platform uh, can do for you is credibility. By building a platform, I'm referring to you being an ongoing expert contributor for two or three, maybe five national media sites where you're not accommodating the editor by giving them endless content to fill their requests. It's more about filling their content topic needs with your message and your emotional brand that's going to help them build a better uh, website overall. They don't want more of the same thing. They want somebody that's innovative and that can bring them something new and different and completely change the course of a particular topic area by, by being that person that says, wait a minute, no, this is how it's done. Here's the latest research. This is what you need to know. And that kind of credibility isn't really available in a two-minute segment on the Today Show. The second thing that building a platform online can do for you is give you a method of connection. You don't want to just be that person that everybody sees on a talk show. You want to be somebody they can actually reach out to, ask questions, comment about, share, kind of feel like they have a way to get to know you. It's that accessibility and that connection that having a platform gives you that can plummet you into a world of actual loyalty on a global basis versus just somebody knowing about your name, getting more events because of it, but not actually building that loyalty factor that the connection aspect can bring you when you build your platform. The third thing that it can do for you is give you a sense of your emotional brand. When you go on CNN or even Oprah for six minutes, it doesn't give you that opportunity to really get your emotional branding in place. That's why when people went on Oprah for an entire hour over and over again, they suddenly really started connecting to people and forming an emotional brand. So you really know and knew who Marianne Williamson or Gary Zukoff or Dr. Oz or Dr. Phil, what these guys were really about because they had the time and the consistency to build an emotional brand. And when you're online, you get that opportunity endlessly through content, permanent placements, and ongoing links. The next thing, the, fifth, the fourth thing that this can do for you is basically it's helping you build a garden. When you set yourself up on a number of sites and you start to build content archives and a bio of strategic links going to different content and sales pages and newsletter signups and whatever else you may have to offer, you're literally planting seeds in a very fertile garden. It might be six months or a year before somebody happens to see it on a search engine or stumble across that, that topic right when they need it. And the next thing you know, they want you to write a book or they want to base a movie on your life or have you be the expert to spearhead a global campaign on character, like what happened with Dr. Michelle Borba. So it's all about building the seeds and not looking for an instant return because, gee, I'm on that media event. I paid this much money, so bam, I need to get this much money back. That's a very shallow way of looking at things. And I realize you need to fund your efforts so that you can continue to help people. But the more you focus on building an ongoing platform and a garden of content and helpful advice, the more people are going to respond to you on a much bigger level, on a more ongoing level. But yes, it might take a few months or a year or two to make that happen. But I guarantee it'll be worth it. Uh, the last thing is that it's flexible. When you do radio and TV and print, it doesn't give you the opportunity to go back into that magazine or that television um, show that aired or the radio show that aired and change your bio and change your links and add new content or say, gee, I actually wrote a cookbook or you know, something completely different. I want to change my business. You don't have to start all over. It's right there. And all you have to do is go back in and alter the bio and the links, add some new content, maybe delete a little bit, and adjust your presentation so that it fits your business as it evolves. And that is a very powerful aspect that you can't get with any other media. 
So keep your eye on those five tips. That's really what building a platform is about and why the people we've worked with who've done it have been very, very successful. Thank you and I'll be back again soon with more strategies. Please visit AnnaLeadInPR.com for more tips.